Hey guys, I had a little knock at the door. We have a visitors. You have a hat. Do you have a hat? You look so handsome in your hat, Christian. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Closet Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today I will finally be sharing with you guys my extensive summer hat and summer bag collection. I know, I know, this video is way overdue, um, <laughs> but the reason why it took me so long to film this is pretty simple. Um, I've been wearing my hair this summer mostly in like a big, huge puff or that crown braid which i showed you guys a tutorial for and unfortunately neither of those hairstyles is conducive to really showing off hats <laughs> so i washed my hair the other night and sort of put it into this crown braid which is one of my signature styles i also have a tutorial for that as well if you're interested and so i thought let me just go ahead and film this dang on video <laughs> I also did a companion blog post at closetconfections.com. I will link it down in the description box, but I rounded up all of my best favorite. I scoured the internet and found my favorite dramatic summer hats. So be sure to check that one out. So without further ado, let's get into the hats and the handbags. But first, let me show you my outfit because it's pretty cute. <laughs> all right guys so here is today's look you might recognize this dress i did in my recent target haul featuring their designer dress collection this particular one is from love shack fancy and i love it i haven't had an occasion to like wear it outside yet um not that i need an ex occasion or an excuse to dress up like i would wear this to the grocery store no problem <laughs> but i thought i would save it and wear it to film with you guys so here it is it is smocked detailing on the bus and it's this pretty pink color it has these pink and lavender flowers throughout and what i love about it my favorite part are these three tiers of ruffles oh, so gorgeous so for accessories kept it really simple because we're going to be trying on some like hats and some of them are you know they make enough of a statement <laughs> but i am wearing these real pearl earrings that i got from j crew and they are such good quality i love these earrings so much they will make a great gift as well and then for shoes i'm wearing it with my new castanier pumps that i got from netta porte i believe and these are super comfortable and this pink just goes perfectly with the pink flowers in this dress and i just love this feminine look all right so let's get into the hats yes i think we'll do the hats first okay guys so for starters i will show you how i kind of store my hats currently eventually i think i might want to hang them on the walls but for now i just have this mannequin that i got from a blog campaign that i did a long time ago um and i just kind of kept the top portion and threw it away and i just uh, store it on top of this radiator right here for now <laughs> so these are probably the hats that i wear most often and these are like my larger hats so i keep those here and then the rest i just keep them stacked on top of one one another so these are uh billy bookcases from ikea and i keep shoes on one side this is just like a fraction of my shoes i have to do a shoe video another time <laughs> and then these are my hats that i kind of just have like stacked haphazardly up there so we're gonna try these on one by one and then i will show you my summer bag collection and it should be a lot of fun hopefully <laughs> let's get started. all right peeps so this first one is probably one of the first straw hats that i ever purchased as an adult and kind of started my obsession um sorry it's kind of bent out of shape right now but this one is from j crew and i love it because it's packable so i've taken this on so many vacations it's gone around the world with me it's been on several beaches from the shores of hawaii and i've taken it to europe um and and it's just a great hat and it exactly matches my straw tote that I think I showed you guys in the previous video uh it needs to be steamed a little bit but I love this one because you can just kind of take it and it's a packable hat so I just kind of like roll it 
and tuck it into my suitcase and then when I get to my destination you can just easily steam it so I've used like the hotel iron on it or sometimes now more recently I've been traveling with a travel steamer and it just takes like a few seconds to kind of knock the kinks out and get this hat back into shape and then this next hat is a vintage one that I picked up on Etsy and I just love the details on this one it has a very um shallow what do you call this portion a shallow bucket I don't know if that's what you call that portion of a hat I should find out um, but in any case it's very shallow so you have to tie it here like around here it has a little attached chin strap so you have to tie it here in order to keep it into place so originally it came with like a very uh almost like a shoelace chin strap and I didn't think it was very chic so I purchased this grow grain ribbon from Amazon I got like a whole spool of it and I just cut this um to size and I tie it around my chin like that and look at what that. started me down the path with this hat was um actually the Giacomo Santos Santin hat I fell in love with it but at the time it was like sold out everywhere I couldn't find it and so I found this one on Etsy and like pounced on it plus I love the fact that it's vintage and it's like one of a kind and I, I love this it. hat so much it's cute and it's perfect for windy days because you know with the chin strap it won't blow away next <laughs> hat actually belonged to Eric and I kind of stole it <laughs> So I think maybe two or three summers ago, oh gosh, maybe it was even longer than that because it was before Christian was born. We went to a jazz age lawn party on Governor's Island out here in New York City. And he wore a very dapper seersucker suit and had this matching boater hat to go with it, which is very, very popular in the 1920s. And I, I had a dress that it went with and I just kind of took it from him. <laughs> Because to be fair, after the, the Jazz Age lawn party, he didn't really wear it anymore. So I was like, why let a hat like this go to waste? And I love and it. And speaking of boater hats, boater hats are probably one of my favorite silhouettes for straw hats. So I have several boater hats, including this one that I got from Forever 21 so many years ago. And you can wear it with the bow on the side, or usually I wear it with the bow in the back like this. This hat is another one that has traveled all over the world with me. <laughs> I've worn this on so many vacations with so many outfits. Oh my gosh, I just love this hat. And you guys know that I replaced it with my lack of color hat, which I will show when I get to those hats over there. But yeah, this hat is gone around the world and it's kind of been through it. It's a little bit fraying at the edges, but I think I paid like 15 bucks for this at Forever 21. So I'm not complaining too much. This ribbon was like hot glued on you can see here so I took it off and so when I wear outfits that um maybe I don't want to have this black like harsh black contrasting ribbon I can just take it off and wear it plain like that I can also just tie a different color scarf around it so that's a cute look that I've done before okie dokie moving right along I actually forgot about this hat so I'm glad I did this video I used to love this hat I haven't worn it in a while this is from Banana Republic it's a Panama style hat so not a boater um and what i love about it it's this light cream color like almost white and then it has this black trim like it's black ribbon going around the brim and i love it it gives such just like a little um pop of color well not color it's black and white um but it gives like a little chic pop to my outfits and yeah like i said i totally forgot about this hat this is how you know your girl has too much stuff <laughs> But yeah, I have to work this into an outfit soon because I like this hat. Dokey, and then another sort of, uh, not Panama hat. I think this is more of a fedora. Yeah, both of these are fedoras. So this is another fedora and I got this one from Banana Republic as well. It's a similar shape to the hat that I just showed you. And this hat I like, this is my like fall, summer into fall transition hat because I feel like, you know, this obviously a straw hat, you think of summer, but this color, it's more like an olive color. And as I start wearing more muted colors, um, as the weather, you know, kind of the temperatures cool off and I start wearing more muted and darker like fall type colors, but it's still warm out. I feel like this hat goes in and works perfectly with those outfits. This next hat is from Ralph Lauren. 
and it's also oh it's a little bit bent up so i can just like i said you can just easily steam your hat you can even buy i've been meaning to get like a hat block and that's like a wooden block you put inside to keep your hat's shape and then you can kind of like steam around it because i like to have this little dimple in my fedoras but yeah this black straw fedora that i got from ralph lauren i love it i think this is another great fall transition hat i was on the lookout for like a black wool fedora and couldn't find what i wanted and i found this black um uh, straw one and i used to wear this one to death only thing i wish that it had like a wider brim i've just noticed like my head is big <laughs> so the bigger the hat you know the closer to god and the more flattering on my my particular face it is <laughs> i'm debating if i should get rid of this one i'm not sure where this one is from this is a true panama hat i like it for a few reasons one when it's really really hot sometimes even just wearing a straw hat is like too much it's like what i like about this one is that the weave is extremely loose and it gets a lot of airflow through the hats like more so than my other ones i also like that the ribbon around it isn't black like that seems to be like the most popular color um but i like that this one is like a uh, sort of like a khaki or like a uh what do you call it army green color so yes, I'm debating if I should keep this one just because the brim is so short. I find like you'll see as I go along with my hats, like I like the bigger brims and this one is just like, it's just like barely an inch, I think. So I don't know. I feel like maybe who knows a couple of years from now, I might be back into the short brims again because that's the thing with fashion. It's like these really subtle changes. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> reluctant to get rid of things sometimes but let me know what you guys think Do you guys think i should keep this one or get rid of it curious to hear your thoughts okay peeps next up is this really fun hat that i got from j crew i haven't worn this one this year but it's so cute i love the kind of uh zigzag detail that it has on on the brim on the underside and then it has this blue and white striped ribbon. And then what's really fun are these pom-poms. So cute. I have a matching pair of pom-pom earrings that I like to wear with this hat. And it's just so fun and festive. All right, peeps. So next up, we have a new hat. You can see I haven't even taken the tags off. I bought this this summer recently. And it's from H&M. And here she is. It's another one of those hats that has the chin strap which is great for those windy days. I feel like this is sort of an old lady hat. <laughs> like it's very old fashioned looking. So I think maybe that's why I haven't reached for it. But actually what I think with a hat like this, maybe even since this strap is like a lot thicker, it might even be cute to tie it like higher up on my face like that on the side oh i have to play with that a little bit more this is kind of just like on the fly off the cuff but oh actually it's like a little side ponytail Ooh, i have like this long like braid that i wear for my crown braid but i'm thinking like if i did like a fishtail braid and had it off to the side here with like this here that instantly like modernized it oh snap okay i will try that look <laughs> last one in this particular pile is another vintage hat it's by a brand called scala so this hat and this hat these are both by a brand called scala and i think that these are handmade um yes they're handmade and it's just a classic hat brand like you can find these on amazon you can find them at department stores hey guys i had a little knock at the door we have a visitors you have a hat do you have a hat? You look so handsome in your hat, Christian. <laughs> Say hi. Eric. All right, so this next hat is a little straw pillbox hat. It's vintage, and I got it from Buffalo Exchange, or did I get, no, Beacon's Closet. And this little pillbox hat I love so much. I'll pop up some pictures of how I've worn it in the past, but it's so cute. And then in that same vein, I also have this little uh, 
nosegay or like this bird cage. Yes, it's called a bird cage, not nosegay. That's a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> but I have this like bird cage little veil um hat and i got this one i think did i wear this i wore this to a jazz age lawn party as well and i have another one in yellow and i don't know where it is but that one i wore when i went to uh the horse races so this is another cute one that i haven't worn recently but this is kind of a look i like this one so next moving right along i'm gonna go get my larger hats that i have up here on this mannequin so hold on one second all right peeps and i'm back and i got the hats <laughs> So first off is a hat that I got from And Other Stories. Again, another nod to that Jacquemus Santos hat or Santon hat. And this one has an even wider brim than the one from Etsy. I love this hat so much. It has that signature chin strap, chin tie. It goes right here. And this hat is so cute and so chic so you can either wear it like this like halo style or if you want to add a bit of mystery wear it more like this kind of low on the face and like covering one eye i really love that look oh, it's so chic and sophisticated i love this one Ooh. what i showed you guys recently my replacement for I lost a little straw there my replacement for my forever 21 straw boater is this one from lack of color like i said lack of color has such great quality hats for a great price point oh, and i just love it so much and then next up we have i featured in my previous video this fringe straw hat that i got from j crew which is very reminiscent of a much more expensive hat. Like I think I've seen a similar hat to this by Scentsy Studio. Um, and it's carried at like better department stores. And it's like maybe two or three hundred dollars. This one I got from J. Crew on sale. I'm not sure if they have it back in stock, but I have seen similar hats to this uh, other places as well. So I will link those down below. As always, you know, I'll hook you guys up. Uh, but yes, and this one I popped on my vintage Chanel brooch and haven't taken it off yet because I like the way it looks. Next up, I have two very fun vacation hats. So this hat I love. It's extremely floppy and oversized uh, it's kind of like where is Carmen San Diego <laughs> but uh, I love this hat this is like the perfect beach hat I have a blue and white swim dress and I love to pair these two together looks so chic and then I have a pair of like my white Prada Baroque sunglasses guys it's a look <laughs> but yes i love this and hat. then last hat but definitely not least the one that gives me great vacation vibes is this one that i think i bought this in hawaii or maybe key west i'm not sure i think i bought this in the florida keys actually and it says do not disturb i don't know if it's going to be backwards on camera um but it says do not disturb and i love this hat so much it's perfect if you're just laying on the beach and you don't want to be bothered and let's just a cabana boy bringing you a cocktail uh, this is the hat you wear for those moments all right peeps and that is it for hats now let's move along into summer bags all right guys so now we're moving on to bags so i know a lot of these pieces you've probably already seen just from like my styling videos but i thought i would just go ahead and just show them to you all again in the context of like summer bags and summer hats so here we go so starting with probably my current favorites so of course this Lilith tote from Colt Gaia that I picked up recently it was half price on Nordstrom's rack and what's great about it it folds how good is that oh my goodness and then also from Colt Gaia we have of course their famous arc tote I love this bag so much this used to be like my vacation bag but now that I have this one that kind of gives the same sort of vibe but folds flat uh, the way that I would pack this one previously is I would just stuff all of my like bras and underwear in here and that kind of like 
gave it its shape and kept it from getting smashed in my bag so that worked out really well for me. next up we have this gorgeous vintage clutch and you just look at these details guys they have real seashells these little handmade little raffia rosettes it has a magnetic closure and it's fully lined with fabric on the inside. I think when I got this bag, there was even a little seashell inside of it. So I got this one when we went antiquing in the Hudson Valley. And with this one, I also got another gorgeous one. This one is super delicate. Like if I come in close, you can even see where the cotton is sort of exposed. I'm trying to look online to see if I can find whatever this like material is. Like I don't even want to touch it too much um, to see if I can kind of touch that up and fix it because it's a gorgeous bag. So both this bag and this one, these are both from the 1950s. So, like I said, I don't want to damage this any more than it already is. So I try to be very delicate with it. But I love this one so much. It's so pretty. I always get compliments when I wear this bag. Another tote that you guys have definitely seen before. I shared this in my handbag video. But it's this jute tote that I got recently from H&M. And doesn't it just look exactly almost very close, pretty close, like the Dior book tote. Oh, I love this bag so much. When outside opens up again, I might even take it. I have a woman who um, does uh, monograms and I might even have her kind of like monogram this for me and even make it more similar to the Dior book tote. So let me know your thoughts about that. <laughs> Good idea, bad idea, genius idea. And then next up, I always forget about this bag. I don't wear it often enough, but it's actually a backpack. I got this one off of Etsy and it's super cute. I wore it, I think, in a photo shoot I did when I was pregnant. Um, it wasn't like an actual maternity photo shoot, but I was just pregnant. <laughs> um, so in any case, I love this one when we go like apple picking or if you were going like this summer, um, we're taking a vacation. I'm hoping we might be able to go to like a farm and maybe pick some berries and whatnot. Uh, pick some fresh flowers, some wildflowers. This is like the perfect bag for that little weekend day trips. If you go to the farmer's market a lot, this is a great tote to wear. So I love, love, love this one. This one has seen better days. I actually need to do a bit of spot cleaning on it. <laughs> but this is a market tote that I got from J. Crew years and years and years ago. I think they bring it back every year. J. Crew Factory, I think, has it now. It's pretty much the same exact and bag. And it's up pretty well over the years. This one is a great one to pack on vacation and that's the one that matches exactly with that other straw hat from j crew the very first one i showed you guys it has a little pocket on the inside so that's usually where i keep my cell phone and this is just a great bag this has also gone around the world with me and has been on several beaches several cruises so yes we love this one and then another cute straw summer bag i got is from h m so this one you can carry to where you can wear it like just tuck it under your arm and wear it like a little clutch like this uh but also inside it has a little strap so you can wear it as a crossbody bag so this one is perfect for summer on my toes so you can see it this one is great for summer i love to be hands-free nothing like touching me no leather like all over my body uh, so this is a perfect one i also like to travel with this bag a lot and then last but definitely not least we have this bag that you have totally seen before if you've been following my videos. Uh, this circular woven like raffia bag that I got from Zara like several years ago at this point. I love this bag so much. So it's hand woven, even though it was from Zara and like maybe 30 bucks. And it has this cute little tassel here that's huge. And also too, if that's not your vibe, you can easily remove it and put it back on if you want. So the way that it closes, it just has like this drawstring here so you don't have to worry about it flopping open and it has these great wooden handles. And then what's perfect about it is that there is a cross body strap. So usually I like to just hold it in my hand and like wear it as a top handle. But if you didn't want to go hands free, um, you can do that. The All right, peeps. So that is it. Thank you so much as always for tuning in, listening to me talk about hats and handbags. <laughs> 
I appreciate you guys so much. I love making content for you. So please let me know down below what your favorite pieces were. Like I mentioned, I have a companion blog post that I will link down below listing out all of my favorite hats that are fabulous and fantastic for summer. I might even do, if the mood strikes me, I might do a roundup of handbags too. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos like this weekly, sometimes twice. And with that being said, as always, stay classy and stay fabulous.